What's going on? I'm Anton. Today, I'm going to be checking out the Fort Police Interceptor Sedan as part of the Ontario Provincial Police Pack. Ontario Provincial Police, of course, is our basically our state police here in the province of Ontario, Canada. So what we are going to do is we're going to hit the highways. We're going to see what happens on this episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR One Call. And it starts right now. A bit of a cloudy morning here as we run our radar on US Route 13. Highway accident. And okay. That and sounds code, code to response. That sounds something we can take here. Uh, dispatch a three, Adam 10, roger that responding code two. Let's go ahead and close our radar. We're gonna head over there, code two. Just gonna pull out, make sure there's nobody behind me like this guy right here. What are you doing? Don't you see me pulling out? See, that's why you need to turn on your sirens because these people you know, I say that every episode and every live stream. There's some really bad drivers here, I must say, in the province of Ontario, because that's where we are as Ontario Provincial Police, of course. All right, let's head over there. Code 2. So it looks like we have an accident somewhere by the Alamo Sea. From the looks of it here, we might have to turn our sirens just to disperse some of this traffic here as they try to move to the side for us, which is not too bad there. Sometimes they're not the best at moving out of my way, like that truck. That truck is just not turning. It's not doing anything. It's just driving straight. There's some guys sitting there, some bike cops there on the side of the road. All right, I believe we have some construction here in this area. I'm going to try to get around these guys. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, there's quite a bit of construction going on out here. And there's a makeshift traffic light they put up. Try to go around this way, right there. Nope, don't block me. Nope, do not block me. There we go. Got through that like that. And we're now on East Joshua Road, heading towards the scene of the accident. Of course, not too realistic here with all the palm trees and the cacti. Not cactuses, cacti. Here, of course, that's not quite the province of Ontario, but close enough. Close enough. We'll roll with that. All right, here we go. I think, is this it right here? There's a cone. Yeah, that could be it right here. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Go ahead and show me 1023 here on East Joshua Road at the scene of an accident. Um, good thing they put a cone out. That's really nice. That is very, very nice of them to do that. All right, let's go take a look here. Let's see what these guys got to say. So it looks like we have a dump truck here involved. That could be coming from that construction back there. So maybe that's uh, where this guy came from. Okay, hey guys, my name is Anton with Ontario Provincial Police. What's going on here? Let's see if maybe we can get this guy right over here to tell us what's happening. Hello, sir. What, is he, what does he have to say for himself? Uh, good to see you, officer. Oh, well, that's that's nice. Uh, what happened there, sir? What happened here? Uh, one of this uh, group six vans ran me from the street. I had no chance. It's not a van, it's a truck, but okay. Are you sure the other car was a van of Group 6? Because that looks like a truck to me, buddy. Uh, yes, of course. A big armored van painted green. What the devil are you talking about? That is not the car. I also remember a number which was painted on the van. It was 0615. Okay. All right, thank you very much, sir. I don't know what he's talking about. That is not... I mean, is he talking about the tr... Is, is the truck was rammed? Let's see if this gentleman has anything to uh, say to us. Looks like we're going to get a check here, a number check for a possible stolen Group 6 van. Does this fellow have anything to say to us? Is he just uh, like a bystander or a witness? Oh, it is stolen. Okay, so... Hmm. Interesting. So we do have a stolen van out here. Uh, this gentleman right here does not have anything else to say Attention. to us. This is dispatch. Oh, and the Vehicle van has been located. Perfect. Smoke tree road. Okay, I guess we're gonna head over there. So it looks like maybe this is just a driver that pulled over to help this uh, dump truck out. Uh, he got rammed off the road by that. Oh my god, I just fell. Oh, and this guy fell too. You alright there, sir? Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so it looks like he got rammed off the road by that van, which was stolen. So let's go ahead and head out. We're gonna find out where that van is. Uh, right now here in a second and we're gonna see if we can intercept them man that looks so cool I like how the um, FPIS looks with all the lights okay really buddy almost blocked me in here from getting into my own car you want something? okay yeah you want something I want you to move 
All right, let's see where they are. Okay, they're not that far off. So let's head over there. We're going to go there, code two. I will downgrade and turn off my sirens or rather my lights uh, once we get a little bit closer to that location because I don't want to scare them. I don't want them to think that we're onto these people. So here we go. Train here crossing. Let's just turn off our lights now, I guess. Since we're on this dirt road, there's not much traffic here. Come on, train. Finally. All right, let's see if we can locate this van. It's a Group 6 van painted green or had some green lines on it. Here's the last known location. Not seeing anything out here. Now, there is a chance that the van might be moving. Yep, looks like it is. Smoke Tree Road. Smoke Tree Road. Okay, dispatch, we're trying to look for them. Where are they? Oh, now they're just a little bit off to the side here, so we're going this way now. Okay. Looks like the van is moving. It is not a parked van. It is on its way somewhere. It has been stolen, so we got that to uh, keep uh, in mind. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking for it. Buddy, what are you doing? It's been located again. Uh, now south of us, on or north of us, rather, on Panorama Drive. Whoa! SUV. Uh, not seeing a van at this time. How fast is this van going? All right, good. We gotta I just He's got here. here. He's nowhere oh, here. How fast is this van going? Down. They're like literally... Six, six suspects. How am I supposed to handle this on my own? Wow, we just had an explosion somewhere. I don't know if that's related to the van or not. Kitty cat, move out of the way, kitty. Uh, looks like they might be over there. Yeah, I see the van. Uh, dispatch a three Adam 10. I have a visual on the van. We're going to be in the abandoned motel here off Algonquin Boulevard. Looks like I will need some backup since there's six suspects reported here with this van. Let me see if I can go around. Yep, they're right over there. Okay, we got somebody walking right there. I don't know if they're a suspect or not. Looks like the van is stuck. Yeah, dispatch, go ahead and roll an additional unit out here to me, uh, code three. Attention all units. Let me get my gun out, just in case. I don't know what we're dealing with here. Hello? Anybody in the van? Ontario Provincial Police! I have to search the area, so they almost went into this pool. Well, what used to be a pool. No longer a pool anymore. Oh, oh. Somebody, somebody's yelling at me. Somebody says I'm dead. Oh, got shots fired. Dispatch a three, Adam 10, code 1099, code 1099. I have shots fired at me. Where's my panic button? Oh, I got, I got him right here. I got him right here. Oh, thank God for that backup unit. Looks like they're helping me out. We got, we got automatic gunfire. We're now in a shootout with suspects. There's another suspect right there. I got him, I got him, I got him. We got officers moving in on us right now. There's multiple units arriving here to assist me with my panic button. Sir, is he involved in this? Is he just a homeless guy? Two suspects are down. From what I can see, we have officers arriving on scene now by the truckload. All right, let me move around this way. We're still trying to locate. There were six suspects, we were told, in total. I am trying to locate them. Let's go up into this motel. I see somebody right up there. Drop, drop the weapon! All right, let's see if I can make it maybe up there to the top of the motel. I hear somebody else yelling there at me, yelling profanities at me. Okay, making sure there's nobody behind me here. Officers are on scene. Ontario Provincial Police, come up with your hands up! All right, I saw somebody run into one of these rooms. So we're gonna do a room by room search here. Look at the amount of officers over there. Oh, there's somebody right down here. Looks like there's another guy right there. He had a grenade launcher? Oh my god. Alright. I hear somebody else yelling. Look at the amount of officers. Oh my god, I just been shot. I just been shot. Dispatch. Shots fired. Shots fired. Where is that guy? All units. Shots fired at an officer. That is true. Shots fired at an officer. Where was he? Oh, he's right there. He's right there. I got him. Suspect is down. Looks like we are code four. We are code four suspects is down. We've got two suspects down right here. Where did these guys come from? They must have gone around the other way. Wow. And look at the response by the Ontario Provincial Police there. Absolutely packed. 
right now, this motel with the officers. Uh, dispatch a three, Adam 10, all suspects down. Uh, we're requesting immediate 1052 assistance here to this abandoned motel. All right, let's get these guys hopefully revived. They have a lot of questions to answer now as to exactly why they stole this truck, how they stole this money truck, and how they even got these weapons. I mean, I picked up a grenade launcher. How did he even get a grenade launcher? That is like military hardware. Military grade. No idea how these guys procured these weapons. They, they were organized. Talk about organized. There's another unit right down there. Talk about being organized. And one more unit down there. What a fantastic response by the Ontario Provincial Police here to my panic button call. Thank you very much, everybody. Officers. Yeah, they're right up there. No way! They're right up there. Thank you for helping me out. Oh, he's gonna actually help me out. Oh, thank oh, you! Fuck. Thank you so much. Oh, look at that. He's gonna Why help me out first. I thought he was going up there to revive those uh, dead guys, but you know what? He's gonna take care of me. Thank you, man. That is really nice of you to do that. All right, let's go here. Maybe we can see if we can search the truck. We got multiple paramedics on scene now. Work They're going you, to attempt to work here on some of these suspects. Six suspects in total. All right, let's see if I can even search this thing. Yeah, we are an official police business. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where am I going? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not in control, guys. I'm not in control. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Don't fall into the pool. Okay, good. Whew. You know, whenever the game takes over like that, I just don't know what to expect. Nicholas Cage printed pillowcase. A box. Oh, full of toenail clippings. These guys are disgusting. A butterfly knife, a zippo lighter, and a bottle of prescription medicine in someone else's name here inside the stockade. I wonder if we can get this thing towed. Uh, dispatch, can I get a 1051 uh, here for this truck? Yep, we can definitely get it towed. Here are these officers attempting to get out of here now. Good luck. This is just a complete cluster fudge is what this is now, but... Look at all the. We even have unmarked units that responded. We have the Tahoe. I love the 2015 Tahoe. It looks so great here. As the uh, here as the OPP, and then of course all of these other backup units. And now there, he's lost the door. He doesn't have a door. And neither does that guy. Where did the doors go? Is that like a new feature on the car? Just no, no doors. This is my car right here, all banged up as well. All right, so we are now waiting here for a couple of things. So I believe the paramedics still up there. I'm gonna go back up there now that I've searched the truck. Um, the paramedics still up there trying to revive the suspect. We are waiting for the tow truck to arrive here as well. Looks like they're working on another suspect down there. Oh my god, it's a rat! It's a rat! Get away! Get away from me! Why is it going after me? Go! Get out of here! Why is there a big rat after me? Look at the size of that thing. Did not get here in time. So it looks like a few of these suspects are going to be dead. Look at the size of that rat. I wonder if I can just shoot it. Can I tase it? Maybe I can tase it. Can I tase the rat? I've never tased a rat before. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. You can actually tase that thing. You stay there. Oh, is it dead? Oh, there we go. That's one way of dealing with rats. All right, I'll keep my taser out just in case we see any more rats around here. Um, there's the tow truck. They're trying to figure out how to get there. It looks like a couple of people were saved. So we have uh, four patients that were saved in total. So they have a lot of questions to answer. They will probably be charged, potentially even terrorism charges. I mean, get a grenade launcher. Who, who has a grenade launcher? Terrorists. That's who. Terrorists. Okay, so uh, a couple of people are dead. Let's go ahead and request... Uh, there's the paramedics down there. Uh, let's go ahead and request the coroner to come out here and... Um, it looks like here's one of the dead guys right there. And then I believe the other one was... Was... Uh, or down there, I guess? Dispatch, can we get... Uh, can we get the uh, coroner out here? I need a 1079 to our location on Panorama Drive. Let's get the coroner. I'm gonna go here and... I don't know, there's not much else for me to do, I guess, other than to wait for the coroner to arrive. We should be right around the corner. There they are. Hey, guys. Hello. Right here. Are they... Uh... Get, get, get out of the van? Please? Maybe, sorta? They're, they're thinking about it. They're like, eh. Meh. I don't feel like getting out. I don't feel like getting out. Okay, well, I'll let them figure that out. Hey, guys. Maybe I need to tell them. Hey. The uh, body, there's one body up there, and we got a uh, looks like another body down at the bottom here. Alright, well, I'll let them figure that out. 
All right, I think we're going to be clear on the scene. I'll let the coroner clean this up. Uh, we have a couple of dead people here that did not make it, unfortunately. And uh, they're going to get cleaned up by the coroner. It looks like there's going to be one up there and then another one down here in this pool area. The car has been towed. Other officers there attempting to... Uh, yeah, there's the other one right there. Other officers there attempting to crash into each other and get out of here. Go back on patrol and that's exactly what I am going to do. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. Go ahead and show me uh, clear of this uh, situation here, of this call. I uh, will be code 4 and 10 eight. Hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you hit the little bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified every time I upload one of these amazing videos or whenever I go live. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.